Well, let's continue then. Then we are 41% complete, it seems like. Nice place to come back to. <laughs> oh yeah, I got up here. Just to... Okay, let's go down there. Let's see. There must be some explosive somewhere around. You got your beating stick. <gasps> oh, my stick! You found yep. her? Now mm -hmm. I can get back at that good for nothing trolk that done busted up my leg! <laughs> Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your um, condition. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is a matter of honor and revenge and hitting things with sticks. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolls for you. Mm -hmm. Bring me their devilish little fingers. Four of them. No, 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 40. No, 400. My broken <laughs> leg demands justice. How about I gather four trolk fingers, just for you? Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy! <laughs> what do I have? Do I have any? I have one. Uh, where do we have a store at? Uh, What the heck was that jump? Uh oh. That one, okay. That was it. Okay. Key up there. I want to get it. Damn it. Hmm. Let's see if he has any I fingers to buy, huh? Have fingers. 
So let's buy some food. Huh? Yeah, and we got some. Ooh, damn. He has a lot of stuff for sale. One region, 60 attack, 40 defense of Balak. Hello. Um, I would say that's a buy. See what else he has. Everything is worse. Nothing better. Okay, let's buy that necklace. Yes, please. Your transaction is watch your and let's see then. You for to blow up. Where's a key at? It's there. Okay, so I need to bring that explosives all the way up there. Ah! Fail, 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 fail. Just in time, huh? But how am I gonna get that done? Maybe use that bomb somehow then. Okay, let's save. There we go. Okay, let's see what should we get. damage yeah more damage let's see do we have anything the other way
info oil hmm. So what do we need here? Uh, still want a throne spark, bug eye, but bug arm. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's still worse than this one. So. So. We can always make one, confirm. We have, we can craft that one. We can craft that one. We can't craft that one, we need four hides, I think. We have the materials for that one. That one is... What does it give? 80 attack. What do we have now? Hmm. Oh, it's an upgrade. And we can make it. Okay. Okay, how gets that up there? Damn. <laughs> this crap flowing out all over the place. Oh. How many of those do we have now? We need six, right? Bikes. I am here. Oh, good for you. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything to sell? Not like to keep that. Why is there any point keeping these things? This pendant once belonged to a very loving grandma, and she had the hope to pass it on to her grandchildren. Huh? 
How do I not know if they are for... Um... Okay, let's sell that so we can buy. Uh, yeah, sell that too. Sell that too. We can start buying the materials. Hmm, okay, let's see. We don't need you. Well, we don't. Not like we need your transactions at the moment. Appreciated. Girls. Oh, come on. Miner's gear, huh? We already had one of those. We should be able to buy these things except death, I think. Oh boy.
what's this way then? Oh, I have to go all this way. Oh. That was not worth it. <laughs> or maybe it was. Okay, let's see. we go oh is this the place where I should maybe put on that ring huh tell me, tell me. What's the difference here? Huh? Okay, there's spikes. Interesting place. Isn't these the mushrooms that we're supposed to pick up?
Was not. What's the right? How could I? Looks like I just fell through. That was just bullshit.
Okay. That was a pain in the butt to get. Okay. Let's move on in this direction now. No. Come on! Oh, now I'm poisoned too? Give me that coin! Press X then. Bad timing.
Get up here then. Ring of the Apprentice, huh? I don't want to pretty smooth. Need something to blow up with. Ah, shit. I didn't see it. Somebody behind a little tree or bush, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this means I need to bring that thing over. Oops, wrong button. Let's see. How we are gonna solve this? Up. There's no way I'm gonna make this. It's only a key, get it. That's not do Okay, let's see. What do we need? Bone spark, bug eye, split bug arm. Clone tentacle. Ah, uh, hello. Could buy one of those. Buy that. I don't have all that stuff that we would need. Your transact. Right, nice. Uh, okay. For now.
Hmm. Who are you? I am Dust, and this is Fidget. We came from mud pots seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Really? Okay, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys. And you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should turn it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. <laughs> Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions. Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? I would question the motives of any creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. <laughs> I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land's surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. Hmm. A creature. Like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands, spilling innocent blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. Okay. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is the sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. I have seen hmm. where your path ends, Lady Tethys. And I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius's campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and oh, perished in these holy waters! Ah, shit, Spike. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously, I wasn't even there. Damn, she was a pain in the butt. What? What have you done? Knock some sense into you, I hope. 
<laughs> I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what the general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I mean, that water is drowning out all the sound. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. We have other and more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Oh, the waters, yes! I only hope it's not too late. Indeed, hmm. though your motives were noble, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius and his campaign on the surface. Already I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north, into the mountains. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius' campaign. Hmm. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel. Because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general guys. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces, and what I see makes little sense, even to me. Hmm. There are powerful forces at work within the dust. How a living creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpod who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What? What have I done? We've no time to waste. Is there a shortcut back to Mudpod? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. That's a new skill, isn't it? Oh, new projectile python. Got all six. Uh, hello. Hey, look, sunlight. Fancy 
see that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have Aww. to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Pidget. Sometimes even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. Oh yeah, let's uh um, this sheep. We found your sheep, Gappy. They didn't seem too concerned about being lost. I honestly have no idea how you carried those things around with you. It's a secret. Thank you, son. You're good people. Here, have some wool from my flock. Trust me, this is prized stuff. You're doing good in this world, son. Folks like you are always welcome here in Mud Park. Hello again, Flohop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We yes. found some clumps of red moss for you. Oh my, yes. These are lovely. They'll last me for quite a while. Here, why don't you stay for a while and have some soup? Guaranteed to be the best soup you've ever had. Why don't you stay for a while and listen? Uh, have your soup I inside. appreciate the offer, but we're kind of in a rush. So I'll take it to go. <laughs> That's a great idea. All right, here you go. Enjoy now. Thank you, Flohop. Take care. And we got your fingers. Here you go, Blop. Four troll fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. <laughs> Ooh, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. <laughs> Let's assume I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's hmm. wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures, and if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. While I'm sitting. <laughs> I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. Here's ten rockhound teeth, Blop. I'm sure your new teeth will be the talk of the town. <laughs> I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blobby can't eat corn no more. <laughs> okay. I don't have yours yet. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. Hmm, did she make it? Oh. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Oh, Mama? Is that time? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! Hmm. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... We failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! 
Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant. Hmm. You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Pa, didn't you hear? I got the water running. Pa! Hmm. Pa! Master, let's give them a moment alone. understand we got the water running we did everything we were supposed to Fidget, it's like what bopo's mother said when the life thread calls for you you must go he was fated to pass and there is nothing we could have done to stop it that doesn't excuse this aura did you know did you know we'd be too late if i told you before would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what hmm. is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. Okay. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back, though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. Oh, yes, yeah, not a quest. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone, and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life, he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. 
And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. <laughs> of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? That's a secret. This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. Okay. How are we with the... Uh... They got healing stuff. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? Nice names. It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. <laughs> well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on. Let's get back <laughs> to the surface. Okay. Ding 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 ding. Hmm. Let's get some more defense. Okay, that will be it for now. Um, we'll continue on later on.